are you doing everybody? We are out here at the Vermilion River in southeastern Minnesota. It is just a beautiful, beautiful cloudy afternoon here. Finally got our first uh, cold front of the year. So uh, just a week ago it was over 100 here. So it's it's nice to be out here and be able to wear the long sleeves and, and uh, hopefully catch some big fish. So what's in this river? There's stocked trout of all species, the three main. There is smallmouth bass. There's some largemouth bass. There's northern pike. And I think there's even some walleye near the mouth. So I'm really looking forward to this. It should be an awesome time. We are going to be wading up the river as well as fishing from the banks at this bridge I'm at. Um, and we may be moving locations as well. And I've, I've had to cut in and out a few times. This bridge is pretty dang busy. So I'm excited to finally get out there in nature and have a good time. So yeah, we're going to be using some smaller rigs. And when I say small, I mean small. We're going to be going eighth ounce trout spinner on a medium light rod, as well as I busted this puppy out. We've got the Kai Tech, the BK Special. So yeah, going to go ahead and strap you guys on the chest and I'll see you out there. Let's have some fun. That doesn't count. But first cast, first fish. So if this looks like a different river, it's, uh, it's because it is. We um, tried out that vermilion for a little bit, but because of the high temperatures and the minimal rain lately, it's just way too shallow. Not a lot of water flowing through there, pretty stagnant in general. Um, so decided to head about 30 minutes south, back to the Cannon River, where uh, I've done some fishing before and had some pretty good success. So we get a snag. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it can produce for us once again. Little guy. I'm getting a lot of these. A lot of these little guys. The dam up there is used as a spawning ground for these guys. Because these all look like they were born this year. <laughs> uh, settle down. thinking it's going to be one of those days where bigger baits means bigger fish. <laughs> so if you've ever wanted to get into river fishing like this, you're too scared to or don't know what to wear, don't know what to do, typically I like to park at public access. You know, somewhere safe, secure. From there, I'll just I'll get to the water, check everything out, make sure there's no no fishing signs, footwear. I know a lot of guys like to do um, insulated boots, especially in the winter. But when it's still nice out, you know, in this early September, I uh, I really like rocking Keens. No socks, nothing, just some good old Keens. Um, there we go. That's fun. It just uh, 
I don't know, there's something about just feeling the water up to my knees and <laughs> sometimes deeper, but right now I've got stuff in my pocket so we won't be going deeper. And it just allows you to get to these places, especially if you're a guy that doesn't have a kayak or a boat or anything. Uh, you've only got one rod that's been passed down from your grandpa for 70 years in the family. It's, uh, it's nice, you're able to hit those spots that other guys don't typically get to. Um, especially if you live somewhere, especially if you live somewhere that's populated or fished, anything like that really. If you can get away from other people, find some fish that haven't seen the same MEPS inline spinner go by them a hundred times, you're gonna have a lot better luck. So that's why I really like doing this. Plus it just, you connect with nature, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch your step, you gotta be careful, but you also get to take in the scenery and there's just something beautiful about that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch it up to something a little, a little bigger. See if we can get some bigger grade fish. Cause while these little guys are fun, it's, um, it's time to get something better. All right. Got the Kai Tech. Like I said, the BK special. Yeah. Yeah, there's a better fish. All right, so we just had to upsize the lure and we upsized the fish. Oh no, he came off right there. I'm gonna say probably a pounder. He was a, he was a good looking smallie. Let's chase some bait right here. That's a good fish. Yeah. There we go. Nice. That's a great river smallie. There's a river smallie right there. That's a good one. And threw on the double down plopper because it catches fish and there are fish to be caught. Oh shoot, wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, he might have a battle scar now, but there he is. Let him go. Yeah, there's a fish. He's fighting good in the current. I don't think that hook set's very good. Yeah, that's the best one of the day. fish. He's got a good belly on him. <laughs> Check this out y'all. That's BK. He's three hours south of me right now. He's getting them. He's got videos and everything. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. You guys see that? Big wake just followed the spinner. I want to catch that fish. He was chasing it. He was interested. It's turned off at the last second. I don't know if it's because he saw me or what. That was that was big. There's a good fish. Oh. <laughs> Gonna have to replay the footage on that. That was funny. Oh man. Oh, check that out. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a big number two. Yeah, it looks like a two. Huh. Birthday balloon going rogue. I 
I think this one actually wins. This one is smaller than the rig. Whereas the last one was, the last small one was the uh, same size. You gotta respect their gumption though. You really do. That's a large mouth too. Well, I am uh, getting hungry. It is golden hour, so I think that means it's time to wrap it up and start headed home. Maybe get some food in my belly. I've never had a bad day on the Cannon River, and even today, while we got a lot of small fish, we got some really good looking smallmouth bass. We had some big fish on, and I don't know what it was that created that huge wake, but I want to come back sometime and, and, uh, and find him again. So definitely a lot of fun. Might not have produced over at the uh, Vermilion, a little too shallow, but I love it that here in Minnesota, there's so many opportunities to find fish that even if the first one doesn't produce, you're gonna find plenty of other opportunities. So with that being said, appreciate you guys following me along on the journey and stay savage. <laughs>